Hey guys, it's Selena Roseanne here and today I'm going to show you how to get these type of curls and this is the way I styled it but you can leave it out and I'll show you how if you keep watching. There's a few things you're going to need before we start. So you know me, whenever I'm doing my hair I like to take a shower and wash my hair and everything and then leave it damp but some of you may not have the time for that so you need a bottle of water or I use tobacco water because it just really works well with my hair just to like give it a little bit of dampness to it a hairbrush some clips and kitchen towels or kitchen paper paper towels whatever you want to call it this is what we're going to use to curl our hair and this is optional but if you want to use a satin hair net for when you sleep with it in then use that which I do so the first step I'm going to do is basically section my hair so I take the back bit and tie it up now I'm going to section my hair brush it out you spray your hair if it's not damp then I'm going to section it into three pieces each side so three on this side and three on this side then now we get your paper towel I cut it up in quarters it doesn't need to be neat like this I just like cutting it with scissors because I'm just really fussy and that but you can just rip it off like that but I'm not really good doing it and what we do here we basically get our hair get our paper leave a little bit of hair get the paper towel and we're gonna wrap it round like so like this and the way I lock in my hairs is I go over the top in the existing hair and we basically just roll it all the way up And then when we get to like the top of our head, we're going to just tie it up like a knot. But make sure you don't pull too hard because then it's going to rip and that's it. And we do that on the rest of our hair but I'm going to show you again how to do it. So we take a piece of paper, leave a bit at the end, wrap it round, roll it up and then at the top we tie it. And we're done. So you basically do this all over your hair. Approximately, well, it took me around an hour to do. It might be less because it's the second time me doing it. So yeah, guys, I'll see you when my hair's almost finished. If you want smaller curls, then get smaller sections. And if you want bigger ones, then get chunkier sections. It is quite fiddly, but you can get used to it. It took me quite some time. You'll get the gist of it. Alright guys, I've finished putting all the paper towels in. I'm going to sleep with these overnight with the hairnet. So let me just pop this on. I just like it because it stays secure. So I'll see you in the morning. So it's the morning now and I've got my satin hair cap in. And it was really comfortable to sleep in at night because there was no pins like the straw curls or anything hard in my hair like for it to be digging into my head while I sleep so this is absolutely fine you can sleep without the hair cap but I just prefer to because I don't want tissue in my face when I'm sleeping so what we're gonna do now is take the hair cap off and see if it stayed in so as you can see everything is secured so now what we're gonna want to do start from the 
well you can start anywhere to be honest but I start from the bottom up and I start to take out each and every towel paper towel and see the results so make sure you take it out very carefully Oh look, can you see that curl? It's going to look much better when we actually separate the curls, but right now I'm just only going to take them out. Check this one out. Do you see how much it curled? Like, my hair is really long and it shortened the length up to here. So this is what it looks like when I take it all out. My hair has shortened like so much just from these. So what I'm going to do now is going to tie my hair up and just try and separate the curls. So this is my hair now and what you want to do is run your fingers through the hair to give it more volume and also put your hair down and run it through the back. The thing with this method is that the roots don't tend to get curled so it looks straight and then it goes all really frizzy and fuzzy so I usually with this hairstyle I would tie my hair up and do some other hairstyle that won't make it obvious so like if I tie it up like so like this it's not as obvious that the roots are straight so here you can like brush your hair back and then get half of your hair get like a clip or something and then just clip it in and your hair looks like this or you can just tie your hair up which I usually do or I'd create the bangs effect So I just tie my hair up and leave a bit at the front here and you can slick your hair if you want to but it's really hard to do on my hair with my hair already curled or you can just fully tie it back like this into a bun however you like this took me approximately an hour to do putting it in and then like another taking it out and trying to style with it I slept with these overnight I used 13 sheets of kitchen towels paper towels whatever you want to call it but they're all in quarters I didn't really put any products in my hair before it was just literally water and then just the towels and wrapping it round so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video and you tried it out and it worked for you please let me know in the comments below got any questions about this hairstyle leave them in the comments below too and I'll try and get to you ASAP if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos tutorials challenges whatever you want then I'll do make sure you follow me on insta 
at Alina Rose Anne, my Snapchat at Alina Rose. And if you want discount off your first Uber ride, then use my discount code Alina Rose Anne. And yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Peace.